Hi everybody, it's Angie. I'm so excited today. I'm excited for what to come. It might be a long one today, so hang on. Now let me go over here and make sure this other one is muted. Okay, that's muted. Move that off to the side. Move my other window over. Yay! Okay. I uh, had some sales. I'm not going to go and share all the sales that I had for the sake of time. Um, but I had some pretty good sales. I sold, I had three different orders from a person that watches my videos. So thank you so much. And if you watch my videos and you have purchased from my Etsy shop, please let me know because that is just. Um, it just makes my day and then they get a little preferential treatment if you know what i mean so if you watch my videos and you buy something from me you're always going to get something extra um so so keep that in mind anyway thank you so so much um you know who you are for um your continued purchases this week i was so happy and blessed by that and then uh, what else? So there was necklaces and there was a ring. No, there was uh, two, two brooches just a while ago, just, just a while ago from somebody else. So good sales. But before I get into the party mix, yes, that's right. We're going to party. We have a party mix. Look at that. Look how big it is. Look how big my party mix is. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'm not going to get too crazy. Um, hi, Kathleen. Hi, hi, Christine. Hi, Barb. Hey, Gail. Hey, Mary. And Lisa and, and Adam and everybody I said hi to already. I know it's huge, right? And it just tickled me so much that it said party mix on it. So I was like, ah. Okay, I have to... Uh, tell you uh about how i got this and and i'm and one of my bargaining tools was to uh well first we were we were chatting the the girl that had this and uh you know i said i like vintage jewelry and and she said well i have some and i said well um, I said, do you sell on eBay? And she said, no. And I said, do you sell on Etsy? And she said, yes. And I said, do you really? So we started talking and uh, it turns out she makes, her shop is, I told her I'd give her a shout out. That was one of my little bargaining tools. <laughs> and uh, her shop is Merchant Adventures 1 on Etsy. And uh, I have the shop pulled up here. She makes like costumes like uh, Renaissance costumes and biblical costumes and stuff. And she also makes these beautiful, oh, there it went, what happened to it? <laughs> I closed it. She also makes these beautiful jeweled um, cones with jewelry. That's where she collects her jewelry from. But um, her costumes are just amazing. And uh, she does really well on uh, Etsy. So. If you want to just check her shop out, it's really, really neat. I'm just really impressed. So she had this jar for $25. And I had already bought a few things from her, a couple pieces, three pieces of jewelry, which I don't have here. Should have brought them over, but I didn't. Um, oh, Dawn's here. Hi, Dawn. Dawn, look, I got a party mix. <laughs> party mix. Um, so she had this mark for 25 and, and I had already bought the jewelry. In fact, I already walked away and then I'm like, you know, walk back and look at that jar some more. She had told me it was a crafting jar, but I'm like, let me just roll it around a little bit. You know, I, I surely can find something in there. And I said, well, how about 10? And it was Mark 25. And she said, hmm, what'd she come up with then? She came up with, uh, 10. 15 and I said 12 and she said okay and I said okay $12 Woo -hoo. all right hi Roberta 
You can tell how excited I am. We should just get started, but I wanted to show you two really cool things that I got at Salvation Army before I get started on this. This was all blackened, and it was with the brooches. They were the 50-cent brooches. It was all black, and this right here with the raw amethyst was all yellowed because there was glue all over this right here. But I saw the potential in it. I knew it was sterling from just the way it looked. You know, it was all black. It looked pretty much like this, you know, the back looks. And so I bought it for 50 cents. Isn't it gorgeous? I cleaned it up. I took the amethyst out, cleaned all the glue off, replaced them. And I just happened to be looking, looking at it. And I, it's very faint. It's just a miracle that I even saw it. But right up here and it's in script like somebody just kind of etched it in you can't even see it it says hand wrought by mr herney 1957. so i am just tickled with that that is just so neat to me i just love it love 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 for 50 cents <coughs> gosh i know isn't it hi vanessa isn't that pretty and I love purple. You know I love my purple. And then this was there. It was a uh, dollar twenty-five. This is gorgeous. Um, there was a little rhinestone missing in it, but I replaced it, and you can't even tell. Um, by the clasp, if you note know this clasp, it it doesn't have the actual knob on it, but it has like a a raised ring around the edge of it so if you see a clasp like that you know it's from the early 1900s um i learned that in one of my jewelry books um and i hope i'm remembering that right i know it's old i know it's an old necklace but that was a dollar 25. so that isn't that beautiful and it's riveted on the back riveted construction open like that so i like that yes thank you thank you and i only had believe it or not you wouldn't know by the way i'm babbling but i only had one cup of coffee today so i'm kind of drinking some coffee i hope you don't mind i'm i'm gonna not slurp and you know i'm not gonna slurp i'm just gonna drink some coffee Yeah, that's good. Hey, Darlene, how are you? Okay, I partially opened this so I wouldn't, so I wouldn't be fooling around trying to get it open. All right, let's pull something out. So excited! Now I don't really have a lot of hopes for this because she did say it's craft. You know, I'm, I'm thinking most of the things are going to be broken. I'm already prepared for that. I looked and I see a lot of broken stuff missing stones it'll just go right in the garbage like this it's going in the garbage not worth my time or effort so i'll throw that on the floor oh this on the other hand doesn't look bad i hope there's no missing stones this is kind of cool oh it's a stretchy but it looks like the stretch is still okay that's kind of neat that right there is probably might be worth twelve dollars. I don't see any stretch going out of it. Really, it's not too bad. I have to look at. Well, it does have a little slack in it right there. Got a little slack, so I'm not sure. Oh, the more I pull on it, the slackier it gets. But that will be cool for somebody's craft. That, that's pretty neat. Those, those um, rhinestone stations there would be pretty neat for somebody to craft with. Oh, the horrors of stretching. <laughs> I know, Kathleen. That's just, it's just beyond my thought processes. And what do we have here? What do we have here? It's a 
cluster bead thing. And I don't know if this is, I think it's just coming apart. I think it's coming apart because I just pulled some beads off of it. So that'll go right there. That's broken. Here's some earrings on the card. Earrings on the card. Look to be okay. Not bad. You can put them in a lot. What's this? Something in a baggie. I think these are big earrings. Nice. I like big earrings. And they're door knockers. They're not big. Big door knocker earrings. Big statement earrings. Big ones, big ones. Hi, Joe. Um, so they will go in the OK basket. This looks like pot metal, and it's missing a lot of stones. Pot metal pin. Here we have a long. A long necklace. Well, maybe not long. Maybe it's a just multi-strand necklace. It does look like it's got a New York hang tag on it. Just a fashion necklace. Matte gold tone, but it's not in bad shape. I don't see much wear on it at all, if any. So that's not bad. We have a Juicy Couture, which I can't sell on Etsy, pendant. Don't know what I'll do with that. Here's a cool earring. I hope I get the other one. It's a hoop with a heart on it. Be nice to get the other one. An empty ring, garbage. Um, a broken clip earring, garbage. A worn clip earring, garbage. This looks like it's broken, had other things on it, apparently. It's it's a clip earring, that's broken. Hi, Carmen. Carmen, were you sick? Or, oh, okay, Carmen, you better. You better do something or not, are you better? Like, are you feeling better? That's what happens when you, when you get, and you try to catch up on the chat and you're like, Hmm, that could mean that, or that could mean something else. Hi, Lynn. Well, this is different. A train. These are earrings. Train. And uh, it's New York. New York sky skyline and with the train. And that's, that's pretty neat. I hope I get the other one. That's kind of cool. No, she's asking... No, asking if she's better. Oh, okay. Are you better? I didn't know you were sick. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> A penny to fool necklace. <laughs> A Mr. T necklace. Oh, my goodness. I think they're the Hope Diamonds. I think they're a million trillion dollars worth. Wow. Woohoo. That's exciting. It is a situation with anemia. Uh, anemia? And my red blood cells were working on it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Carmen. I hope you're okay. hope you get better quick. I hope you're taking some medicine and I hope the medicine works quickly. Hi, Sassy. 
how does one determine what is trash and what would be for a craft lot? Well, if it's really worn, um, sassy, like, or really broken up, like, well, maybe this one's on the fence because somebody might could use that little, that bead off of there, I guess. That's kind of one, that's kind of iffy. But like, but like, I would say like this, this earring, I mean, it's all worn, worn and stuff. What would you use that for? I don't know. If I see something that's got excessive wear, you know, metal wear, I don't think I'd want that even in a craft, but, um, or like missing stones and all and the wear, the metal all roughed up. I don't think I'd want that for a craft either. So I, that would be trash for me or something that's just, you know, beads would be good or something like that. Here is a necklace, and it's just a cheap necklace, it's cheap fashion necklace. I saw this in the jar. I was like, I wonder if it could be sterling. It's not sterling, but could it be? I guess it's not. It's probably not turquoise and coral but i guess it's faux but it's still pretty and uh people buy bolo ties but i'd have to replace the cord because it's got a lot of wear on it so i'd have to replace that but this this part here's good i think somebody would be interested in that Neggy springfield's here how you doing Neggy? um yeah it's attractive it's not bad Here's a pretty, kind of a pretty fashion earring. Doesn't look like there's anything missing on that. It's it's signed um, IS or LS, I'm not sure which. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow. That's a shoe clip, I think. Wonder if the other one's there. Probably not. That's very pretty. Hope the lighting's okay. Doesn't seem very bright. Mr. T quote, I believe in the golden rule, the man with gold wins. <laughs> Here's a bracelet. And uh, it's probably broke or something. Oh yeah, missing stones. It's too bad because I do like the uh, safety chain bracelets. Maybe I could just save the safety chain. But it's uh, missing lots of stones. Uh, a pin, a KPS pin, got a good bit of wear on it, 40 watching, thumbs up, thank you Lisa, 40 watching, alrighty, um, thank you everybody for coming, and thank you for uh, the thumbs up, and um, yeah, this is a rare occurrence, might never ever happen again, especially with this party mix. That's really a rare one. That's a unicorn or whatever they say. This is a watch. I can't read it, but it's just the it's just the watch face, not working. But I did see a, a working a watch just ticking away in here. So there is a working watch in here. Oh my! It's kitty bright or kitty watch watch with a cat on it cats all over the band and dogs and monkeys and there's just a whole zoo on that oh ooh, how interesting that's interesting there is a missing stone on it it's got wear on the back but that's kind of cool 
see there's some missing stones though oh darn it that's really cool it's like mother of pearl here and then it's got all these little jewels looks like it was nice at one time definitely it's not signed not signed and not taken care of why don't people take care of their jewelry especially something cool there's a piece of something that would be a good crafting thing hey Sam hey Teresa if I missed anybody hey cracky if I missed anybody hi JSS misty uh, mystery jars are so interesting. JSS is, uh, dang it. Rachel? Is it Rachel? Tell me it's Rachel. Just tell me my, my brain works for something every once in a great while. This is cute. I like that. Look, Vanessa. Look, the butterfly. For you. Be cute if I had the other one. I like that. It, I like that it looks like it's old. You know, it's I get, maybe it's made to look old, but that's pretty cute. I always like black. You can tell. I like black stuff. Hi, Walter. It is. It's Rachel. Cool. Very cool. I better get some of this stuff off of my area here. I'm going to get mixed up. This is broke. Broken piece of something. Craft stuff is. Wooden cross. Just, I guess it's a pendant. Some purple, one purple earring that another butterfly attached to a screw back earring do you know what years Monet did the sister clasp um you know that Monet book should have all that in there and it does not as as comprehensive as that book is it should be in there um, but no, it's not. Um, so no, I, I don't, um, I want to say that it's, that it started. I do. There is, there is something in the book when it started, I think, but not when they stopped making it. And I don't think they do make them anymore. I think they just, they got cheaper as they went, you know, and I think it's the lobster claw now. And that reminds me, I want to do a video on, I have two Monet earrings and they're, they're identical, but they're from different years. Like, like they brought out the same style 20 years later or something. And I'm going to show you the quality of each one. You can really tell the difference. Oh, that's cute. I like that. It's a little, um, little hammered disc and they're clip on dangles i think i have one of these it's a it's a pendant though it's not on a keychain this is a uh, a watch and it opens like that so it's a uh, this one happens to be a on a fob key fob or something but cute the way that the way that opens you push on the little antennas and it pops open so I'll have to see if I have a battery for that. That might that might sell. Oh, this is really old. And the stones are all scratched up, but it, it looks pretty old and it's it's broke. I guess you could use that for crafting. Hi Mary Luz. How are you, my friend? Oh um Hola amiga, como esta? Maybe. I hope that's how are you? 
or it might be what's your name <laughs> oh no i need to learn some spanish just some rudimentary spanish just for her because she sends me messages all the time and 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 i have to google them and and uh do the translate thing not that it's a problem but it just takes me a while to get back to her and uh she's she's in uh where is she chile i think but she always sends me nice messages in spanish this is goldstone i hope i have the other one i like i know people like goldstone this is a button some pretty good crafting stuff here i guess oh this interesting earring look at the back of how you it's omega back i think and it's an actual stone of some kind Hmm. Um, yeah, it's not a paper clip. <laughs> All I can think of is paper clip. Oh, my poor brain, my poor head. It's it's a uh, cufflink, cufflink, and paper clip were just totally way off each other. See what's happening to me? What's happening to me? Goldstone. Yep, that was pretty, right? Just a little earring. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I'm afraid not, but sexy. <laughs> sexy with missing stones. Here's another paper clip sans <laughs> or rather cuff link. Not a not earring with a, a diamond. I've never seen one with a genuine diamond before. And it's got a lot of wear on it. Um, little screw back purple moon glow earring. Interesting pin with a missing center. Hi, Louise. You have a sandstone fountain. Ooh, that's your brain, too. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad there's some. I mean, I'm sorry for you, but it's good to hear that, you know, there's somebody else. This is old. I can tell that's old, but it's, it's also broken. It's pot metal, I believe. So I hope I find the other one to this. I like that. Put that aside. And end it. Broken pearls. Broken earring. Oh. Oh. This in one bead, but that's a pretty ring. Missing one of those green beads. Or, no, wait. There's one missing. Oh, it's missing a pearl and a green bead. A green bead missing and a pearl missing. But isn't that a cute ring? That's cute. That's pretty. wonder if I could find anything. I like that. It's well made. It's not, there's no wear. I'm going to set that aside. Maybe something can happen with it. Oh, good. Vanessa's got the same thing going on. That broken earring looked cool. Yeah, several, there's several things look look pretty cool in here. There's a broken heart. Aww, broken heart. The uh, bail is broke on it. Another kitty watch. Well, I mean, not K-I-T-T-Y, but K-I-D-D-I-E with some children's people on it. Children's people. You know what I mean. Here's a Hershey's uh, charm bracelet. Hershey's. 
Hershey Park. Oh, Lisa just sent me a message. She asked me three times to show my necklace. You mean the one I have on? My art? My, this necklace, Lisa? You mean this one? Yay, a charm bracelet. I know somebody likes charm bracelets. This one's kind of worn out, though. I think it's supposed to have that look. I, I showed this, like, a couple weeks ago, Lisa. It's my uh, Blackmore, Blackmore necklace by Art. It's my African princess, or... I love that. It's the first time I wore it, actually. Wore it to church today. Um, you love Hershey's. You're welcome. Uh, here's a necklace that was in a baggie. It's not, it's in okay shape. I get, well, it's got a little bend in it. Got several bends in it. It's just a chain. It's just a chain. But it's not, it's not really broke. I, I was able to work that bend out of there, so. Whatever. What's this? A dotted blue dotted fashion necklace blue dots and little discs nothing wrong with that that I see other than it's cheap uh, uh oh musical instruments on an earring some of them missing though. Uh, Angie, I'll be on Cindy and Carla's jewelry show tonight. Oh, yay! Uh, the link is there. Okay. Oh, the link isn't up yet on her YouTube. Okay. Adam put that in there the five favorites. So you're going to bring five favorites? Do you have five, fa five jewelry favorites, Adam? I. Didn't even know you were into jewelry to have five of your favorites yet. But I know you've been buying some jewelry. Yeah, we'll definitely be there. Definitely. Well, this is nice. I think I'd, I could probably... Oh, it's Avon. But I think it's missing something there, but I could probably find something for there. But that's a pretty pendant. Just put, just need, oops, needs a nice chain. And uh, it's, oops, oh, it's, it just, uh, the plastic and the other piece for the picture fell out, but that can easily go back in. It's a locket pendant. Stick that back in there, pops back in. So that's not too bad. I could probably repair that. Here is an SAL bracelet. Um, it's nice looking, but uh, it doesn't have any. Looks like the clasp is broken. There's nothing wrong. There's no stones missing. It's very pretty. Uh, it's not discolored at all. It's signed SAL in there. Seems like that's. <sighs> I've heard of that SAL before. And forgive me for not uh, reading the chat. I'm trying to get through this. And I don't know if I'm going to get through it or not. Um, I'll keep the musical instrument piece. Oh, okay. Uh, happy birthday, Jennifer Layton. Oh, happy birthday, Jennifer. Um, could you do your five fave resell pieces? Is that for, who's that for, Adam? Yeah, Adam to do that. Um, thumbs up everybody again. Thank you. 44 watching, 43 watching. 
This is nothing wrong with this. It seems like it's milk glass, maybe. It's got a barrel clasp on it. It's glass, anyway. I don't know if it's milk glass or not. Um, okay, I found the other cuff link. These are kind of Art Deco feeling cuff links. Um, they are not signed. But they're not bad. They're in, they're in nice shape and they're um not worn. Here's a like a tennis maybe or a racquetball uh, clip tie clip, but it's kind of worn. Here's a pretty pretty worn out looking earring dangle. It probably was part of a, a set at one time, I imagine. One of these. Hmm. That's different. Who wants a razor blade? A razor blade for a charm or a pendant. That's a little different, is it not? Gold. Razor blade. Hmm. Kind of makes you think. Why? Why, why, why? Hi, Dreamweaver at Art and Finds. How are you? Did you say what you paid for that jar? Um, I did at the beginning at $12. It was marked 25 and with my excellent bargaining skills, I got her down to twelve dollars. <laughs> I like that. If there, if there's another one, that's kind of cool. Lots of goth kids wore razor blades in the nineties. They did. Why? What did that signify? Here's like a marble. All I can think of is you know cutting up some. Drugs or something. Is that what the goth kids? What? What? I don't understand. We celebrated early. That's right. I forgot things also. Sorry. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday, Jennifer. I think it's creepy too. There's a lot of wear on a earring. Edgy, but some of the kids cut themselves. Oh, oh, wow, yeah, I didn't think of that. The cutter people to make them look like a bad. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hey, Mary, I don't know if I said hi to you or not. I don't remember saying hi to you that hi. What's this? Well, I, it's a pin, but what? Why is that? What's that? What's that compartment? I don't know what that compartment is. Anybody know what that is? Why that's on the back of there? It's like a clip almost, like um, it rings. It does. I don't hear it. I hear nothing. I don't hear it. Whoa! No, it's pretty though. I like it. It's big. Did you did you have one of them? Oh, it's for a battery, huh? Okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh, that made me hot. No, that that just that made me all frustrated. Now I gotta fan myself. Here's some. Here's an earring like that. Here's one of these. <laughs> this. Broken stuff. Come on, I want to get something cool. Oh, I like that if it would be 
Nice, but it's not. <sighs> Curry tea to phone home. <laughs> Put a battery in it and then press it to get the sound. Hi, Anita. A nice big jar for that price. Yeah, it, although everything's just about broke. What's this? This is made in Mexico. H H O A Mexico. Mexico. Says on the back there. It's pretty worn out. Wonder if it's bronze. It's uh, brass. It looks brass, I guess. Looks kind of brass. Wonder if that would clean up. It's kind of interesting. Set that aside. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to me. Is that? Oh, that's kind of pretty. It's etched. That. I think that would clean up nicely. I yeah, I wonder if they like Brasso or something. Maybe some kind of cleaner. But I could clean it at least to make it look a little better than it does. Now I think there's that's not a bad pin, but there's something like maybe a faux pearl or something missing out of there. Probably some other some things in there that I could custom paint in another tutorial video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh okay. Most of this. Well this is nice. I like that hoop. If I can find the other one, it's it's a nice hoop. feel like I hardly put anything out of here yet. Look, this is going to be uh, not going to be accomplished in 15 minutes. Ketchup works great. Okay, I'm going to try that. I know Anita uses that. Wooden bangle. Here you go, Kathleen. Here's some wooden stuff. It's missing some of the inlay. Missing some of the inlaid things, so that's not really pretty. Oh, what's this? Oh. What is it? Aww. They're pretty cool, but they're missing one of their earrings, but it only has one uh, wire on the back. The other one's broke off. Rusted off. Wonderful. I bet my husband could solder something on there. I bet he could. They're cool. They remind me of my, my necklace. They are cool. I like those. Hey, Lydia. Couldn't figure out why the baseball kept getting larger and larger and then it hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you'll know, Adam. When the baseball gets bigger, you, you move. Whoa! I'm throwing, the, I'm throwing rings at you. Uh oh! Oh no, what happened? Oh no. Oh, we're, we're back. I just minimized Safari. Missing. Missing stone. Ugh, yuck, stuff's dirty too. Stuff's gonna be all over the floor. Not magnetic. Except for the uh, bar, except for the clasp. So I'll check that out. Oh, my. Okay. 
phone. Oh, that's that. No, that's a different one. Here's another charm bracelet. This one's cute. It has little bears on it. it says peace. One's holding a heart. One says dream. It's got all these little bears, different bears on it. Oh, one's got a little flower. See that? It's cute. It's got a toggle clasp. That's pretty cute. Nefertiti. Yes, Nefertiti. Thank you, Walt. Walt. Here's one of these. I forget what they call those. Um, those discs that are like iridescent. There's a name for them. Forget what it is, but that's probably old, old ish. That's nice. It's not bad. Um, pierced earring. It's a nice chunk of an earring. Wow. Tiny hoop, it's kind of cute. It's got a lot of bird glue on it. It's kind of heavy. There's another, there's a watch. CTNY watch. Um, oh, this is a pretty bangle. I don't see any missing stones. Could it be? Could it really be? This is pretty. It's got a nice, uh, one of these nice clasps, clasps on it. It looks like it's kind of, kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Sterling. Oh boy, everything's sticking. Uh, it's maybe silver plated, but it's it's nice. It's got stones all around it. Oh, I have I have top chat over here. That's not right. But live chat. Maybe because you're old, but you love charm bracelets. Oh. Oh wow. What's this? Hmm. Pretty ring. Somebody who's actually had tape on the back of that because it was too too big, I guess. Magnetic. It's a little uh, charm, ice cream cone charm. Pearls, double strand, broken. Necklace, Jafari, got little key hang tag for Jafari. Some some metalware. Maybe it just needs cleaned up, but uh, it's got it's got metalware. It's pretty old. It's 
magnetic clasp bracelet. Oh, I don't like these. I don't like stuff like that. I don't like that. Oh, no, no. Cute little worry. Iridescent earring. Hi, Anna. How are you? Broken pearls. It's another broken piece. What's this? Interesting. Wow, that's that's some earring. Look at that. That is one earring. Check it out. It's very, very intricate. Got a lot going on. It's got this frosted stone there wired onto it. It's got a fish hanging on it. It's got a looped chain. It's like a festoon there. And it's a clip on earring. Wow, that's really something. Just really a lot going on. Bye, San. Who moved the production to uh, China? Uh, my husband is crazy about history, so I force him to look at the symbolic jewelry I don't know about. Oh, that's that'd be nice. That'd be a great way to learn stuff. I love this earring, though. I mean, not that I'd wear it, but I like the I like that there's so much going on with it. Oh, I wish Sam was still here. I got an S and a butterfly. S. S on one end and a butterfly on the other end. I don't know why. It's like part of the Damascene, faux Damascene earring. I can turn the fan off. There we go. Okay, I don't know if the other one's in here or not, but this is pretty cool. I saw this in the jar. I don't even know. Is that cloisonne? What is it? Is it Indian? Uh, it's very different. It's really old. It's screw back. Might be sterling. Yeah, it is cool. I know there's another there's another one in here, or something that looks like this. I think it might be the other one might be broke or something, but that is very, very cool. I just think that's cool. Bollywood, yes, Bollywood. I know there's stuff that I'm pulling out that's just laying here that I'm I'm missing and I'm not I'm not showing you. There's a fashion necklace. Ooh, that looks like a million dollar piece there. I do like the iridescence on this on those triangles. It's very fiery or something. The really messed up pin. Take one of these things. Oh wow, that one's really in bad shape. I have a few of those. I guess it's meant to have those different colors on. Maybe it would clean up. A 
probably not worth my time. Oh, uh, what's this? Yeah, I did get some things. Um, what I'll do with them, I don't know. There's a couple things that I might be able to fix that are pretty nice. Um, oh, this is an old, old necklace that is very pretty mint green. And uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's from the 50s or 40s, maybe. It's got... It's got all those strands intact. It's real soft, mint green. It's kind of looking washed out here on the on the uh, computer, but it's more colorful, I think, in person. Nothing wrong with that. This can be fixed. This is a little... Uh, um, cuff bracelet or bangle cuff bracelet and it has the only thing that's wrong with it is it's uh safety chain is broken and it signed something inside see what it signed It's really hard to see if something's curved and you're trying to look at it. I can't tell what it's signed. Cannot, cannot tell. Sign something. Needs fixed. Put it in the fix me, fix me pile. Here's a ring that was pretty at one time. It got all smashed. I don't know if there's any stones missing, but that's what the back looks like. It's all smashed in. I don't know if that can be fixed or not, or whether it's worth it or not. Looks like it might be sterling. I'm not sure. It's not magnetic. My husband might be able to fix that. I don't know. Okay, we have a bunch of bangles. A bunch of bangles. Broken necklace. Bangles, 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 bangles. Hey, it's an hour. It's one hour, you guys. I knew it. I knew this wasn't gonna. It was gonna be too long. Wow, that's a cool earring. Look at that earring. Looks like a banana or something. It's long. I don't really want to go past an hour. Oh, well, that's missing that. Should I save this for next week? The rest of it? What should I do? Should I save it for next week or should we have just a regular show next week and I'll just get rid of this stuff? Go through it myself and get rid of it? What should we do? Please let me know in the chat. Because I don't want to keep you guys from your day. There's other people to watch. Other things to do. Oh, I like that. That is cute. That's cute. I like that. That's a bracelet. Uh, save it. I would like to see what else is in there. Okay. Continue another live video. Okay. Save it. You got it, guys. I will save it. I don't think I'll have a problem with having to get in it.
<laughs> since I know what kind of stuff it is. Although I just pulled this out and I love it. I love that. I love red and gold stuff. Okay. Walt likes it too. Walter likes it too. Um, all right. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, tune in to uh, see Adam later on and Carla and, uh, and jewelry nurse Cindy. And uh, I'll see you over there in the chat, I guess. And bye for now. Thanks so much for coming. Bye. Love you too, Roberta. Bye, you guys. Oh, DD Tam 722 Hi. I did not say hi to you, but welcome and hi. Welcome and hello, goodbye. <laughs> see ya.